hey guys and welcome to my channel please kindly buy some stars to support my channel the profit the proceeds will go to charity well my highlights guys this post is about my highlights from the grammys for me my number one highlight has to be seeing celine dion hell and hearty guys last year some clips leaked of her condition and i was so heartbroken it felt like she was dying and i was so scared so seeing her very healthy at the grammys put so much smile on my face like i am super excited for those of you who are not aware salidion lost her husband and brother in a space of one month and then she started battling steve person sim john a condition where she couldn't move she couldn't control certain parts of her body movement to be honest i am just happy to see that she is in a lot better space selene actually got a standing ovation from the crowd at the grammys like people were super excited to see her and you know i just love how they warmed up to her they were happy you could tell they were surprised to see her a lot better than she was last year hmm. so let's move on oprah also said hello to her favorite girl taylor swift they always lick up on the red carpet this isn't the first time most types of red carpet you always see oprah having her moment with taylor swift guys guess what maria carey received her first ever grammys like it was so shocking to a lot of people i mean this woman is a master songwriter she has a powerful vocal but yet she just received her first grammys well moving on let's see how some of your stars fared during the red carpets like raw and unedited moments or rather raw moments let's hear their conversations i am sure you would love this hello how are you doing it's so good to see you gorgeous tonight wow Trevor Noah, who hosted the Grammys, had an interesting encounter with Beyonce, who he describes as the queen. Of course, she is. Here, Beyonce is seen saying hello, and then they pose to take a photograph. I mean, Beyonce can be really sweet when she's outside. I feel like Beyonce is the kind of person who prepares herself mentally when she is about to step out. She's not necessarily a social butterfly, but when she is outside, she ensures she has a great time with the people you know, that come around her and people she cares about generally. I just stole Trevor Noah's phone and I'm just gonna put whatever I want to put in it because I'm here he's hosting the Grammys he's busy and I'm just taking over his phone I'm John Legend this is my wife Chrissy Teigen this is Trevor's phone oh, we stole sorry. Trevor's Hi, Trevor. sorry. we stole Trevor's phone we love you doing a great job my guy Good to see you. I thought it was so much fun. It was so much fun to honor Tina. And I'm glad I got my cry out yesterday. So I didn't have to cry today. I could just celebrate. It was so much fun. And I thought Fantasia killed it. I thought they were great yesterday, but I thought the outfits didn't you? I thought the whole thing. I loved the whole thing. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Loved it, loved it. I think this is my first Grammys. Thank you. It's the only one I remember. I think I might have. Oh, the last first Grammys in the past 30 years, I can tell you that. <laughs> Good to see you again. How are you? Well, maybe because I cannot get enough of those beautiful moments between Trevor and Beyonce, you would be seeing this often. <laughs> if I may ask what is going on with fantasia's dress oh my god on this day i miss the late joan rivers <laughs> <laughs> 
I need someone to explain to me like I am three. Why do people need to wear outfits that require someone to hold them, hold the tail of their dresses for them to be comfortable? I think it's like, I don't think it's right. It's somehow it rubs off the wrong way. Well, at the end of the day, it's their thing and they are entitled. But I just think it's a certain way though. Well, moving on, let's see my rest, my Miley Cyrus. Well, she got up to some mischiefs here and there. And trust me, she was super excited. She sang on stage and announced, this is my first Grammys. I hope I captured that. If I didn't, sorry about that. But I hope I did capture that. I know you. You know what time it is. Hey, 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 let me get the picture sure. first, sir. Yeah. Here we go, right here. Oh, what did you do all that? Yes. Yeah, boy. Yes. 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 Yes
Until yesterday, I have never seen this guy. Who is he, if I may ask? Like, is he a rapper, an R&B singer, or an actor? I can't believe I'm here, and uh, this is crazy. There's celebrities everywhere. To be very honest, I love his energy. I, don't, I, feel, like, I feel like a fan. I'm walking around taking selfies. Go, busting me on that thing, baby. These are legends, these are icons. Jay-Z and Dr. Dre, I mean, if you have been a fan of rap, you would definitely know them. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Running chaotic for no reason, I didn't think I would take your phone screen camera. How you doing, beautiful? Mm -hmm. I love you. You ready to go kill it? I'm gonna try my face. Kill it. Okay. Yes. Oprah got to honor her girl and her friend Tina Turner actually thought this was Whitney Houston for a moment to be very honest actually thought this was Whitney Houston they look a lot alike Oprah was super excited like you saw in the video earlier where she said that was like her highlight and you know so guys tell me your favorite high point of the Grammys whoops how could I have forgotten be Beyonce sat watching her husband as he called out the Grammys for not given her for not honoring her with the album of the year awards guys that was a lot i was shocked like i mean he kind of reinstated what kanye west had said years earlier that he got the most backlash for well maybe he went about it the wrong way but it's still the same thing jc talked about how beyonce has the most grammys and he doesn't know why she hasn't been awarded with the album of the year i feel like people need to just go easy on fellow i think she's super talented to be very honest i am someone who hasn't paid so much attention to her i think i should really pay attention to her because i learned she writes she also that she's very good like she she has met the criteria for you know what needs to be done to win the album of the year whatever so i'm pretty sure she's deserving there have been talks about the grammys being compromised but i refuse to believe that to be very honest at least Beyonce has won Grammys. What about Nicki Minaj that hasn't won at all? <laughs> These days, she doesn't even bother coming. Like you can imagine, a whole Nicki Minaj. Then we have Maria Carey who just won her first Grammys in 2024. Well, I guess that's what life is all about. Ugh. I mean, life isn't fair after all. Their politi politics exist in every establishment. So, my dear, you know, as Jay-Z said, keep showing up, keep showing up. Or you decide not to at all. But if I was a singer, I definitely won't be showing up. Guys, our own Davido, Nigerians' own Davido, did not receive a single award. It hurt us deep. We were so offended. But then, it is what it is. Maybe it's like a push for us to start our own indigenous awards. We don't need validation from the grammys you don't need to be you know giving the grammys to know that you are doing well for yourself it doesn't diminish your craft in any way like uh, we all can't be all musicians can't be grammy winners i don't even think michael jackson ever had a grammy 
did he if he did tell me in the comment section so guys pretty much that's all i have to say hope you enjoyed watching i hope you got to this point see i might even delete this post after two days though, before i will get a copyright claim though. because these videos i got them mostly from people's instagram stories and i don't know if they are on youtube or if they will lay claim to it later well <laughs>